Hey everyone and welcome! If you're looking to activate your Windows 11 and have come across a method using PowerShell, this guide will walk you through those specific steps. Just a quick heads up, this method uses unofficial third-party scripts, so proceed at your own discretion and understand the potential risks involved. Alright, let's get straight into it. Step 1. Open PowerShell as administrator. First things first, we need to open PowerShell with administrator privileges. This is super important for the script to work. Press the Windows key and X on your keyboard simultaneously, a menu will pop up. From this menu, you need to select either Windows PowerShell, Admin, or Terminal Admin. If you see Terminal Admin, that will work perfectly too. If you get a user account control prompt asking, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, click yes. Step 2. Run the activation script. Now that we have PowerShell open with admin rights, it's time to run the activation command. The primary command we'll use is displayed on screen now and is also in the video description for easy copy pasting. IRM HTTPS dash slash slash get dot activated dot win IX. Carefully copy this command. Now go back to your PowerShell window, right click to paste or use Ttrl plus V and then press enter. Just so you know, there's an alternative command that has been used, which is irm https dash slash slash massgrave dot dv slash get ix. However, the video description notes this one might be deprecated in the future, so we're focusing on the first one. Step 3. Choose your activation option. After you press enter, the script will run, and you should see an activation menu appear within the PowerShell window. This menu gives you a few choices. Now, for activating Windows, You'll want to look for the option that typically says something like HWID activation or a similar permanent Windows activation method. Simply press the number key corresponding to that Windows activation option. In this example, it's 1 and then press Enter. The script will then do its thing, it might take a few moments. You might also see an option for office activation like OHOOK for office activation. If you only need to activate Windows, you can ignore that for now. We're focusing solely on Windows 11 in this guide. Step 4. Confirmation and that's it. And once the script completes the HWID activation process, that should be all there is to it. You might see a success message in the PowerShell window. You can close PowerShell now. To verify, you can check your Windows activation status and settings. And that's the process using this particular PowerShell method. So, that was a quick walkthrough of using a specific PowerShell script to activate Windows 11. Again, remember the nature of these unofficial tools. If this guide helped you, please give it a thumbs up. If you have questions, feel free to drop them in the comments, but please be aware that support for these unofficial methods can be limited. Subscribe for more tech guides and tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.